and welcome to the West Coast First Look Map Tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's here. I'm here. I'm on the West Coast. I couldn't be happier. Um, this is going to probably be quite a long First Look Map Tour. There's a lot to fit in. There's a lot on this map. I could probably do two separate videos, but I thought it's much easier to do one. Bear with me. Stick with it. This isn't the first First Look Map Tour. Let's be honest. It came out on PC a while ago, and before it came out on PC, there were obviously the pre-release versions of it um, that a few different um, PC gamers got in advance, and so there have been a lot of First Look Map Tours on this. If you haven't watched them, fantastic. If you have, there's going to be nothing new on this. There's going to be nothing... If you've watched all of those First Look Map Tours, it's the same map. It's just a different person doing the map review. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, it's entirely up to you. Um, if you're looking at it from a PlayStation 4 perspective, because that's what I play on, um, I can show you what the PlayStation 4's got. There are obviously a few things that are going to be different from PC. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be identical for, for Xbox, but again, I will make that proviso. I don't play on Xbox, so I assume it will be the same. I am also assuming, and I will get loads of comments of people telling me, yes, it is, it always is, and like I say, it probably is, but I'm just making that proviso. So, that being said, first up, massive, massive, massive thank you to Bullet Bill 83 to Oxygen David, Frontier Design. Um... I fully understand what it's taken to get to this point. I think a lot of people do. I think most people do. Um, and I totally understand the frustration and the anxiety and the worry and the annoyance it must have caused for Bullet Bill, Oshin David, you know, because they submit things. It goes through giants. It then has to obviously, you've got all the different things that have to happen for it to come out. And you know, patience is a virtue. We've waited, you know, we waited however long we waited, a couple more days. Giants have been absolutely inundated. It just tells you how good this map is. They've been absolutely slammed. Their servers are on meltdown. I don't know if I just got lucky with the download or whether today it's all kind of starting to clear itself and more and more people are getting to download it. I don't know. But huge thank you. I've had a quick skirt round, and obviously I've also seen other people's um, first looks. Yes, this is the console version, which is going to be slightly different, but this is the most, and I really do mean the most eagerly anticipated, most wanted, most waited for map. Um, and there will be people that will argue, they will argue just for the sake of argument, just for arguing, um, this is a phenomenal map. If you are into your big, open, American-style maps, of course this isn't going to be for you. But even if this map isn't for you, you can appreciate, you should appreciate, the beauty of this map. The detail on this map, what's gone into it, that really, really goes without saying. You know, it may not be your cup of tea, but you should be able to really appreciate what's gone into it. And that's the, that's the really important thing about it. Um, I'm going to get on with this. Um, as far as uh, as far as my first look map tours go, generally speaking, there's a bit of a look on the actual in-game map, see what's what, what you got, what you start with, then we'll have a bit of a whiz round. Um, there is a lot to get in, there's a lot to see, there's a lot I won't get to see, there's a lot I won't show, but that's the whole beauty of this map, it's finding out these things for yourself going and searching, exploring, looking around, driving around, finding all those little hidden gems, all those really cool things that have been put onto this map. So, without further ado, I've said that twice now, haven't I? I'm going to carry on. So, first thing, let's look on the map. I'm not going to zoom in, not at the moment. Let's look at the map in its entirety. It's a nice big map, and what I love about this map from its sort of inception and leading up to it being released and everything else you've got a bit of everything there are very very small fields there are medium fields there are some much larger fields you've got a coastline 
down the western edge of the map. You've got mountains down the eastern side of the map. You've got forests. You've got castles, lighthouses. You've got a town or two towns. The seaside town and the town further inland. There's the garden centre. There are cell points. There's footpaths. There's, there's, there's everything you could possibly need is on this map. And I love that kind of coast to mountain thing. That this whole stretch of land is sandwiched between the two. I, I really really do like that it, it's a really nice touch and it, it gives that map a real good dimension to it flowing from one side to the other um, there are six farms on this map they are color coordinated and if we look down the bottom corner we have got Hill Ridge Farm Little Woolhope Farm Mountain View Farm River Rock Farm Stonehill Farm and Cliff Top Farm and as you can see the colour coordination down the side here matches up with the rings around each of the farms so you know which one is which. We'll kind of get around to having a look at all of those. Um, the garden centre which is here is in the little village of Little, little Woolhope. Um, so you've got Little Woolhope Farm which is the red one here and then Little Woolhope is here itself. Um, the interesting, so the intro, there are so many interests. I'm going to be saying that the whole way through this. The interesting thing about this map, there are some truly, truly awesome features on this map. Some great detail, some really interesting and different things that I, I like. The whole footpath thing, and I'll be totally honest with you, I've said this numerous times before. Um, one of my kind of YouTubers of choice, my go to YouTuber. Um, is, is generally Dagoin. It's the person I started out with watching. Um, and when he did his first look map tour and I saw all the, the public footpath signs, the first thing that went through my head was that would be awesome to do an episode where you walk the footpaths. And within five minutes of me thinking that, Dagoin said exactly the same thing. And that's such a brilliant feature of this. The detail of the road signs, the, the footpaths, everything that's on here. Um, I remember going on to Colbra Park Farm and going up one of the hillsides over a stile, like a little crossing point over one of the fences, into a field that overlooked sort of down towards the, on the rest of the map. And it had the footpath down the middle of the field. And I remember saying that on the, that first look map tour, how much I loved that detail. And this has got all of that. Um, I sound gushy. I am gushy. I'm... Th it's, it's brilliant. I'm bordering on speechless which would be a ridiculous video to watch because I wouldn't say anything obviously but I'm not going to I'm going to keep talking so what I'm going to do is have a quick look across to the right at prices prices are very good I have to say um, how much they're going to fluctuate I'm not too sure but they're looking pretty good, maybe slightly above average for a, for a kind of standard map, um, which I quite like. But you've got your sale points down the left-hand side. You've got your BGA, biogas, biomass, heating, clifftop farm. The farm silo is storage. Frontier, the garden centre, there's um, manure, I think, the sale point. And little wall help farm there is quality timber straw and bales is a couple of those and the Wednesday stores if we scroll across for those Wednesday stores is for your spinnery for your wool um, the garden center for manure um, and then we've got wood chips at the biomass heating plant and quality timber and so on so the prices are pretty good um, if we scroll back to there and come out, if I go into this menu, what do we start with? Well, I've got this set on normal, it's on 20,000. We start with a New Holland T6, very nice, a Veltra N series. We have a 716, a Fence 716, and we have a Fence 724. Four tractors, that's not bad to be starting off, but it is a big map with lots of different farms. We've got some front loader attachments, because I think a couple of those do come with come with the front loader attachments already on, bucket, pallet forks, bale spikes, the starting combine, not bad, Massey Ferguson Activa 7347S, um, that's slightly up from the normal base model, sort of tiny ones, it's not huge but it's not tiny, um, we've got the agro liner trailer, we've got a um, Amazon Catros cultivator, Amazon Kron plow, we've got Vedastat Rapid Cedar, 
we've got fertilizer sprayers and a front tank, Agco weight, Pottinger Nova Cat side mower, we've got a Vicon tedder, we've got a Pottinger wind rower, we've got a Pottinger loading wagon, we've got a bale wrapper, we've got a round but there's a lot of equipment, a round bale wrapper and the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S water container. There's a lot of equipment you start with but it is spread around the map you know you when you look at it you think wow that's a lot to be getting on with and normally that would all be in one farm location that is spread out around the map just very very quickly as we start I mean just what can I say the views are terrific tremendous phenomenal I mean and like I say that kind of mountain all the way across to coastline it's great. Great variances in height, valleys, hilltops, rocky outcrops, undulations, small lanes, um, you know, woodlands, hedgerows. It's all here. Everything is here. Um, right, I'm going to go very, very quickly into a vehicle and then we'll start having a bit of a drive around. So, I'm starting off at River Rock Farm. It has the yellow ring around it, bottom left hand corner if you have a quick look at the map. It kind of, I say puts it central. Um, it's kind of just south of central, we're right in the middle, um, just here. That's where we're going to kind of start from. We'll head out from here, I'll try to do as I usually do, a kind of, I don't know, clockwise route round. It's not going to be that straightforward. Um, there's a lot to fit in and I'm really very conscious of not fitting it all in. I know I've been waffling on a lot and I don't want this to span over into two videos but let's crack on. The farmyards, again great detail. I love all the stuff that's about. The textures are brilliant. Bunker silos. great sounds on the barn doors that open um, th yeah the attention to detail is just incredible um, gates as well but even those kind of the non-standard signs I really do like that chartered surveyors pasture and arable land for sale very very nice indeed it's, it's great, it really is. Now, realistically, and I'm, I'm really very, very conscious of this now, I'm really not even sure I'm going to get round the entire map. I would love to. I really would, but I th I'm thinking that's going to be actually quite difficult. So, let's jump into the tractor. Where was it? It was around the corner here. So, River Rock Farm, where we're starting, is, as you can tell by the bleating, it's where your sheep are. So this is the sheep farm at River Rock. There's a water point there. There's, um, I think, fertiliser and seed refill point. I do love New Holland. Quite partial to a little New Holland. Um, we're going to head out of the yard and down the road nice little farmhouse it's incredibly realistic I mean it really is great now I'm going to skip through to the main points but there you go River Rock Farm sign there um, I'm going to head, I think, trying to remember which way to go. I'm going to go left first. And remember that I'm in England as well, so left hand side of the road. Lovely, lovely details. Truly, truly amazing. I think what I might have to do kind of jump to certain points. I do what I just want to drive around this entire map, I really do. I'm trying to remember my mind's going blank. There's so many little side turnings and places to go. Actually what I'll do. 
That's what I mean about the signposts, look. Look at this. Riverton on sea, front it. I'm assuming I just got hit. Thanks for that. Wow. Uh, frontier cell point, Riverton on sea, pig farm. It's rather unnecessary, I think. This was up to the pig, pig farm. The pig farm, if I'm not mistaken, is Stonehill Farm. I think it is. So let's head up the hill to the pig farm. I do like the fact that the fields are, are erect. They are irregular. It's not those kind of, you get the slap bang, square field, rectangular field. Sometimes they're put at a slight angle. These fields are different shapes, different sizes. They're going to require you to work the fields. You're going to have to, you know, even if you get to a point where you can hire a worker to get the field into a kind of rectangle or a position where you can, you've still got to work that field before you just set a worker off. I love this. This is brilliant. don't want to do this in injustice. Let me just have a quick look on this map. Need to make sure I'm going the right way. I am going the right way. Let's continue. Like I say, this is a big map. You, can, you, you know, it's incredibly easy to get lost. I've gone on various different maps since I've been playing this game and done quite a few first look map tours. And I kind of, you, you do a bit of a whiz round and a bit of a think. You know, sometimes people do a first look and it is literally their first time they're going on it. I kind of view the first thing is it's the first time you're seeing it maybe. I'd have a quick whiz round just to familiarise myself. But this one is one of those ones it's so big, it's gonna take a while to get your head round. So here we are at Stonehill Farm. Again, great detailing. Just yeah. I love the way the farm sit it just adds a real just such a realism to the whole thing you know sometimes the maps can be a little bit almost contrived you know where things are placed and you think oh, okay you know it seems like it's been kind of orchestrated it's been arranged this really does feel like a live flowing living landscape it feels like a proper a proper real world place you know and like I say I know it's a game but that's that's what it gives you that impression of, that feeling of. So, pig farm. We are at at the moment. Now I am gonna do a little bit of jumping around because I'm not gonna get everywhere otherwise. I really am not gonna make it. So let's go on to the main map. We are at the moment down here. at Stonehill Farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sawmill and I, I urge you, I mean hugely, hugely urge you drive around the map, familiarise yourself with it, it's just incredible and like I say I could just spend hours just driving around it just enjoying that kind of thing. Um, again road signs, the detailing, quality timber We've got obviously wood chip cell point. Wood and timber cell point. I do love this, all the details and the signs. It's all these extra little details, all the you know, that that attention to that which really makes such a massive difference. That's what adds so much to the realism of the map. Makes it really stand out. And there will be people out there that will be very anti the whole thing, you know, because it has been so eagerly anticipated and waited for. There will be people that will be negative anyway. You know, I'm not saying by any, you know, in any way that other maps are rubbish. I'm not saying that I don't, you know, I've played on quite a few now and I've done Maple Durham, Little Wool Hope and Riverton on C. Um, and they've all got their own features, their own things that make them stand out, their, their own things that make them great, truly great maps. Um, and this is a truly great one. This is going to stand out, I have to say. So, let's have a look. We've done Sawmill. 
which is down the bottom. We are going to gradually move around the map. We're going to head to Frontier, which is one of our cell points. So we are at Frontier, the main entrance of the main road. Let's put the little map back on. So we are at the southern part of the map now. And this is, I think this, this is all, I think you can sell all your different crops here. Don't think that's storage for sugar beet and potatoes, but the sell point is just here. Very nice storage grain stores or whatever you want to call them. Nice on the Frontier design logos and everything, I really do like that. Um, so that's your Frontier sell point. Moving westward across the southern part of the map we're going to be heading to I believe it is I'm going to get this right Clifftop Farm it is Clifftop Farm let's just leap over there watch out for traffic now I do want to get to a point in a minute oh that reminds me while well, I'm doing Happy Halloween it is Halloween isn't it Happy Halloween and um, Giants have done their usual if I get to a point where there are people you will see but we're going to head to Clifftop Farm I think it's just through there but let's get there as quickly as we possibly can so Clifftop Farm this is an interesting one takes a little while to get to this farm um, let's find where's the way out here we go um, the lane that leads to Clifftop Farm is quite a long one and you have to come out past the castle I believe off the main road out past the castle it's a long drive up to this one but again I don't want to take that all away from you the, to drive around this entire map would take hours you know there's so much time I want to show you the details the parts that are on here we are in the southwestern corner of the map Clifftop Farm Seed roof, refill point, bale and straw cell point, or, and uh, where are we? Another big barn around the side here with opening doors. This clifftop farm is where your chickens are. Now, although it's got sheep here, that's kind of just to give you an added dimension to it. This isn't the sheep farm. This is the chicken farm at clifftop. You don't have to do anything for them or to them. Just come and collect the eggs every now and again. But it's a nice farm it's a good one there's quite a few fields off of it obviously contracts are available where you need them to be I, I would just keep saying wow every time I look around at something wow truly truly phenomenal they're very tight yards I have to say a lot of the yards this is not going to be a map for massive machinery it can't because the lanes, the narrow, tight nature of a lot of the farm yards themselves, you know, it's going to require a bit of skill for manoeuvring vehicles and things around a lot of these yards. This is not going to be for massive machinery. But there's something nice about that, you know, because most real farms, most real farms, your average farm in the UK is not huge. Most countryside farms are an average size, you know, they don't have huge huge machinery some do like anywhere in the world but not all so moving north along the track let's head to well the castle's just there and the castle actually I'm trying to work out if I can jump to that don't think I can that's going to be a bit frustrating never mind what we will do I'll leave the castle for you to explore. It's on the coast, it's lovely. There's a little footpath that runs off the main track. The track I'm on now is here by Field 66. That winds all the way up, comes back out around here, and then you can head up around to the castle. We're going to whiz up to, where are we? Wednesday store, I believe. Oh, that's where we're going to go. So, just north of the farm we started at, River Rock Farm, we're at Wednesday stores Wednesday stores if we go to the road sign again avoiding traffic is the wall cell point the great 
thing, a nice feature on this map is everything is very well signposted. I've mentioned the signposts before, but not just the fact that they're nice looking signposts, the stuff you need is well signposted. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. There is a lot of traffic though. That's going to make moving equipment around a lot of fun, I have to say. But even things like that, small little details, as the road leads up the hill, you've got that lo lo little hump in the road just here. Attention to detail, folks. It's quality. So there you go. That's where you're going to sell your wool pallets when you have them. I'm assuming this is a refill point. It could just be there for decoration, but again, you would have to check with your vehicles. Now, as far as nice features go, let's head up to Riverton on Sea. Riverton on Sea is just up here, kind of northwest ish on the map. Top northwest corner is the lighthouse, but we're going to be heading to Riverton on Sea, our coastal town. I'm going to go to the petrol station first and we'll start out at the front, which is very, very nice. There we go. Happy Halloween. All the zombie folk in town have all been zombified. Unfortunately, chainsaws don't work on them. So, we have our coast. Nice bit of beach. Lovely coastline. Sandy beaches. Somewhere to relax, kick back and take it easy. But we're going to be farming. We haven't got time for any of that. So, fuel station, gas station, petrol station, whatever you would like to call it, out on the main road through Riverton on Sea. Before you head into the back streets of Riverton on Sea, we have got a few of our see, lovely little side turnings and back alleyways. We have got our main store, our shop call it what you will, machine store, Manning Agri Limited, your agricultural company. And they pretty much stock everything, Crone, Grimmy, Amazon, Deutzfahr, Massey Ferguson, Case, New Holland, Ponce, Lieber. You want it, they've got it, they can provide it, perfect. So if you don't want to use your, your online menu, should we call it that, your tablet menu, which you can just press whenever you want, you can come here to the store, come in and buy whatever it is you need plus you've got your customization point here obviously you can sell and customize your vehicles I don't have one with me but you can do that here if we come out of here and come around I'm trying to think the best way around around to the side here crossing the railroad tracks the railway so that's actually was well, something I meant to mention, the PC differences and the, the console differences. PC, there's a lot more animations in the sky, things like hot air balloons, aeroplanes, you know, those kind of things. And I think the sky is a lot more dynamic, the features of that. And I believe that on the PC version, the trains run. I don't think they do in the console version. I haven't seen one yet. There are gold nuggets on this map as well. I have come across a couple. Haven't actually picked any up yet, but there are gold nuggets on this map. But if we cross the railway tracks without getting ourselves killed, splattered on the way over, um, we're going to come to the biogas, biomass heating plant. I will go back across there because we need to get to the animal buy and sell point. I didn't realise that's come all the way around here, but never mind. So, into the biogas plant. Site safety. Safety helmets must be worn. Protective footwear must be worn. Don't forget those safety glasses. Unauthorised entry to this site is strictly forbidden. I'm sure I will be fine. So, we have got, um, I think it's a sell point, as far as I'm aware, just here, which is kind of a standard sell point, I think, because it says biogas. We'll just have a quick look back in the menu. Uh, biogas, there we go. So, biogas, we've got all of our crops can be sold here at the biogas plant, which is very, very handy. One of those super duper awesome features, one of those things we've been longing for, waiting for, hoping for, our hopes, dreams and aspirations have been fulfilled. 
a drive on cell point for silage oh yes no more mucking around with buckets loading uh, not loading wagons wheel loaders and hoiking stuff up into a you know an anaerobic digester with um, conveyor belts and that kind of stuff you can do it right here with a trailer happy days that is a cracking feature yes I've said it cracking it is beyond cracking it is cracker lacking this is awesome that I love brilliant brilliant feature very very nice indeed but we, we also have around the back here the biomass heating plant this is the second of our um, wood chip cell points so you can put them in here it generates power so it's another wood chip cell point very very nice feature to have again unload with the trailer back up or whatever you're going to do however you're going to unload it you unload it into there and then we've got our digestate tank just here where everything produced from selling all of those particular things should start to fill this tank up which makes it very very handy if you want to use that for fertilizing your fields so that's the biogas and biomass heating plants and the biogas cell point all here all in Riverton on Sea very very helpful place to be also in Riverton on Sea crossing back over the railroad tracks railway tracks and up this lovely little side turning here we come up to Riverton market auctioneers this is the equivalent to Emerson's livestock this is the rather British version the version version anyway so this is your livestock market lovely sound effects lovely details great decals posters billboards like I say the, this just the attention to everything it's just absolutely fantastic but there we go so this is your livestock market again in Riverton on sea uh, where are we heading to now you ask you know what I'm not entirely sure let's have a think if we're gonna carry on clockwise round let's head up the map I'm not going to take you to the lighthouse I'm not going to take you around the footpath we might come across a bit of those in a second but we're going to head up to um, Hill Ridge Farm which is our not northernmost that's over here uh, Mountain View Farm is over here that's our northernmost farm surrounded by all these lovely grass fields um, we're going to go to what did I say it was? Hill Ridge Farm <laughs> I've got to remember all these it's going to be very very difficult so Hill Ridge Farm let's have a whiz over there shall we so Hill Ridge Farm here we are tucked away in the countryside now if I'm not very much mistaken um, Eustace Farmer has a character that may or may not have been secreted here into witness protection I could be wrong and if it is don't tell anyone keep it a secret because obviously for his own safety and protection nobody should find out it is private property but I'm pretty sure we can have a look so we are going into Hill Ridge Farm in Hill Ridge Farm again lots of great detail we've got quite a bit of machinery here we've got one of our fence sitting here and that's the fence 716 we've got various different bits of equipment we've got our massive Ferguson stored here our harvester more barn space and even the barns the detailing here so we've got another customization point which is going to be very handy um, I did also fail to mention in the barns we have our light switches on and off bit of a work point here so there we go on and off that's for inside and I think there's some lights outside as well there we go um, so again you can sell or customize vehicles here in the barn which means you haven't got to go all the way over to the store if you don't want to very very handy little feature to have we've got fuel points more storage more barn space silos this is the farm silo silo capacity 100,000 litres which is very nice and this is a nice touch again it's another one slightly different kind of design it's nice to have something a bit different on here I quite like that um, 
our cedar, our um, trailer is all here. More barn space, cultivator, what's tucked around the back here. Our second fence, the 724. Our fertilizer sprayers, fertilizer and seed refill points, all tucked away here. I mean, looking at it, you would, because this has got the farm silo in it, this is your kind of, I suppose, your main farm, Hill Ridge Farm. This is your start point. But with the new farm silo mods and various different um, grain silos and storage silos, um, you can pretty much place them anywhere now, wherever you need them. But this is your main farm at Hill Ridge. Very, very nice. Again, you know, if, like I say, if, if you've watched other people's first looks, you know, it's nothing new. You're not going to be going, oh, that's new. I didn't know that was there. Um, there might be the odd thing here and there that you suddenly think, oh, I didn't know that was there. I don't remember seeing that. If I have luckily stumbled across, up, across something, I don't suppose I will have done. Um, so let's jump up onto the... There we go. Uh, so the next farm we're going to head to... Actually, I'm trying to think. Can I get to... Mm, that's all right. It's going to be Mountain View Farm. Mountain View Farm is the green one. Um, and Mountain View Farm is also where our cows are. So let's whiz up there. Surrounded by fields in the northeastern corner of the map. I say corner. I suppose it's technically it's a corner. And we end up in there. Wonderful. Um, I'm stuck. Right. So... Mountain View Farm, our dairy farm. This is where our Veltra N is placed. Balers and various different things. The equipment is placed where it needs to be, which is nice. I do like that. Um, this one is split across the lane. But there we go, Mountain View Farm. So obviously for cows, you're gonna need bales and you need to make total mix ration. And so the equipment you need for doing that, for doing baling, for doing mowing, for doing tedding and wrapping bales is all here and you're surrounded by these lovely grass fields and obviously because it's animals you're going to need your water obviously you're going to need probably more than one of those unless you're going to be traveling around the countryside to do that but another great farm great details i love the fact how they're all so different they're not not it's not like they've got four farms and they've plonked the same ones, you know, repeatedly in the same places. Um, the detail's great. It, it's brilliant. It, the dairy farm is different. It's not, again, it's not your bog standard. This is what you normally get. Plonk, let's put it on the map. Um, it's been changed. It's, you know, it's been made different. It's a different layout. It's something interesting. Um, and that's, that's brilliant. That's what's made this map. Um, you know, you're going to get fed up with me saying brilliant and wow and awesome and you know but it is so here's our silage pit slurry pit again toxic gas do not enter not for swimming this is not a diving board um, that will gradually fill up as your cows produce the slurry from when you are feeding them um, more barn space bunker silo We've got our wind rower tucked away nice in here and strange enough you have a view of the mountains. I wonder why it's called Mountain View. Hmm. But it's great. I, I do like the fact that it it is a it's a brilliant view. It's not <laughs> nothing about this map. I, you know, I'm sure people will have found fault. They'll have found glitches or problems or you know, I haven't. I I I'm totally in awe. The fact that you know people can do this and create this and it is a thing of beauty it is just phenomenal you know the time and effort that's gone into this I, I don't I honestly don't know how anybody can be cross or angry or frustrated you know it, it's one of those things it is just absolutely worth waiting for let's jump into the lane there we go so there we go our dairy farm it's off the little lane here we would turn up that little lane there and head up to our dairy farm it's brilliant. It, it truly, truly is brilliant. So let's head now down this side and we're going to head towards our logging forest. There is plenty to log, plenty to do. 
just over to the side here. Let's hop over the fence. And here we are. Our logging forest. Again, it's not that bland, kind of flat, scattered. Trees are kind of put down. I like the fact you've got all this sort of growing up amongst it. It's how it would be. You know, your little logging trails weaving in and out. But there is a lot to log here. There's no shortage of timber. Um, yeah, there's plenty. It's a big old forest. Very, very nice. If you're still with me, if you're sticking with it, thank you. I really do appreciate it. There's a lot to fit in. There really is. Warning, forest operations. Absolutely. Back out to the main road. I say main road. They're lanes. Main compared to one of those little tracks, I suppose. But still a country lane. Right. Where to next? Let's head down the eastern edge of the map. So we've pretty much gone from the central part here down and out. Um, did we do, I did do the gun center, didn't I? And we've come round the bottom of the map up this side of the map. I have missed some bits out. So when people start going, oh, it's rubbish, you didn't show everything. Of course I didn't show everything. You'd be sitting there for hours. And then if I show you everything, there's nothing for you to find. But we are going to head down here now. I'm going to go to Little Wool Hope Farm. So, Little Wool Hope Farm. Not far from Little Wool Hope itself. Bale and Straw Cell Point. Again, just, you know, I can't, I can't keep saying it. I want to keep saying it. But, wow. Again, different enough it doesn't it's not the same old same old thing you know tight enough to make it challenging not too tight that you can't do anything oh we do appear to have some slurry here that's interesting because i didn't think little war hope had any animals Let's just leap over here because this isn't technically the dairy farm interesting fuel fertilizer seed water it's all here barns storage space I mean you've seen the barn you've seen the barn but there's plenty here I think we've got more silos here we have more silo storage space here loading and unloading and barn space so little wool hope farm very nice indeed a couple of bunker silos ready to be filled and producing silage i've already got ideas forming in my head i've got ideas of how i i want to do a let's play on this and i've already got ideas of how i want this to kind of pan out in my head um yeah it's nice it's very nice right i apologize that this is whistle stop this really is i mean i'm flying around um let's whiz down i'm trying to think if i did the garden center or not i don't think i did because i kind of in my head did it um so in little wool hope itself in the village down here again watching out for traffic zombies and other various different things we've got the garden center we've got the manure cell point just here now i'm assuming as per usual um i think it might be again i'm hoping that's not just for show i think this is uh seed um water and fertilizer refill point i hope it is um but i think if you buy pallets and things saplings i think they all appear at the main store i know in the kind of original type ones it all came at the garden center for that kind of thing but i think it all comes to the main cell point um across the road here we've got a nice little touch we've got the rusty nail i believe i'll have another beer sounds like a plan there we go see now i'm not sure are they zombies or have they just had a few too many at the pub it's interesting how many of them are coming out and going into the post office though. Not quite sure why. 
Mace makes it easy. That's good. Egg cell point. There are a few. I think there are a few of those dotted about. There's one here in Little Woolhope. So there you go. There's another one. I'm assuming they just come out of the pub. They've had a few and think, oh, I must post a letter. I have a parcel to send. There's a lot of them. How big is this pub? Anyway, nice little garden. Again, great features, great details. It's nice little additions, you know. Yeah, it's realistic. It's great. I'm enjoying it. I'm just enjoying walking around it. Um, you know, if you've driven anywhere in the UK, that kind of, you know, come through the town, the little village, 20, 30 miles an hour, out the other side, national speed limit signs, and off you go. There you go. Welcome to Little Wall Hope. Please drive carefully. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, there are bits I have missed. I will be totally honest with you. I've already said that. Um, we've got a root crop sort of storage facility. I'm trying to remember it is. I think it's up here by Field 4. There's the lighthouse I haven't been to. Uh, let's just zoom in on that. Um, yeah, just up here. I don't think I can jump to that, can I? New. No. If I go down to the bottom left-hand corner, it says... Potato storage, sugar beet storage, and obviously footpath. So if I come back up to that top northwestern part of the map, up here, we have got potato storage here, we've got sugar beet storage here, and then the lighthouse is just over to here. Over, over to here. Actually, what I can do, let's jump to this field. Well. Wow. See, look, listen, seagulls, the waves. This is what the footpath signs. Oh, look, and the nugget. There you go, just to prove it. Um, up onto the hillside. I'm gonna have to be really quick now because I'm, I'm, I've realised how long I've been going on for. I just cannot listen to that. The sounds, the sights, the detail. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, there you go. Didn't mean to go on that, but I have. Um, that, you know what, It's that's pretty much it from me. It, I, I, I could just go around this constantly. More logging and timber and lumber up here. There's plenty to do, there's plenty to see. There's great scenery, brilliant fields, awesome detail. Look. Look at this, it's just great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Phenomenal stuff. Um, the textures are amazing. The sounds are great. The animations are brilliant. It's just... I feel very content. There you go, sugar beet storage. So, you can pile it all up here if you want to. Um, obviously there are various different grain storage bunkers and things available now but you can bring it in here and you can pile up your sugar beet and come and get it when you need to the tires can you pick them up you can Ooh. very nice um, but there you go um, I think I've, I think I've been around pretty much everywhere I'm sure somebody will say I've missed something and if I have I apologize um, that's it that's the west coast it's here it's awesome once you can get it to download play on it it really is phenomenal that's it from me i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found it useful informative if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching